We've got something special today. We are going to be reviewing the brand new 2020 Toro Titan 60 inch zero turn mower with the MyRide system. A little secret, we're going to put it through its paces on my really rough property and we're not going to hold back one bit. So we are going to put this mower through its paces and honestly, sorry Toro, we're going to beat the living crap out of it. Why are we going to do that? Because I want to see if it can handle my property. This property is a challenge to take care of and many of you might have the same situation. After we're done with our initial mowing and performance test, we're going to take it back into our barn and we're going to check out all the cool bells and whistles on this thing. If you're interested in more videos like this, I want you to stay on our channel on a permanent basis. So don't forget. Go below, hit that subscribe button, the little bell next to it, and stay with us here on a permanent basis. Let's get back to the review. I've got a lot of acreage with this thick, tall grass, a lot of weed grasses, and a lot of uh, hay grasses. One in particular called Bahia hay is incredibly tough. As you can see, this grass is dormant and it is twisted and kind of dead down on itself. Now, this Bahia is really tough still when it's dead, so we're going to see how the Toro handles that because I have a lot of area on my property, on my acreage that is like this. It also grows up these small little uh, trees here and these are about the size of a pencil. So let's see, uh, you can pull them out here. Let's see if this Toro will handle this. The reason I want to test this is because that's what my property offers. I don't mow all of it all the time and a lot of it gets grown up like this with these issues at hand. So I need something that can handle this other than a brush hog on a tractor. So you can see it took care of it really well, even all those pencil sized little tree starts that were all over the place. And that tangled mess of grass, I don't have a lot of clumping at all. And I think that's due to the fact that Toro made this with a really high blade tip speed. I think it's very close to, I think it's 18,900 plus uh, feet per minute on the tips of the blades on the 60 inch. So that really whips that grass around and it took care of it pretty great. So on my acreage, I have a lot of tree roots that come up out of the ground. The ground itself is pretty rough, but added to that and trying to mow over it are these massive tree roots, mostly out of our uh, pine trees down here. These I have to go very slow over with any other implement that I use so I don't rattle my teeth out of my head. Let's test out this MyRide system on the Toro and see if it can save my back from just being completely destroyed while I'm trying to maintain this property. So I did find a place that this Titan bogged down a little bit, and that is under this massive pine tree. It has got a lot of pine needles that fell on the ground. This model has the 24 and a half horsepower Toro engine, which has been proven over a long period of time. And it's a great engine, and it handled the long bahia, twisted bahia grass with no problem, no real bogging down. But under that pine tree, those pine needles got to it a little bit. It made it through, but they did get to it a little bit. 
So we ran it for about 30 minutes on that initial run and she performed great. The only place that it kind of bogged down was in those really thick pine needles underneath that massive pine tree. But other than that, that engine powered through and the blade tip speed was great. It chewed things up really well. There wasn't a whole ton of clumping, although that's an extreme test to run it through something that thick and nasty on its first run. Uh, otherwise, bumping over those tree roots, that was, it was comfortable. Uh, most comfortable thing I've had out here on the property for sure. And I had it on the number two setting. I could probably bump it down to the number, number one and feel it'll feel even more cushiony. So don't forget, Toro's letting us keep this for a few months and we are gonna continue to put it through its paces. And we're gonna be doing a follow-up review on this to see how things have held up and I'm going to talk about how rough the conditions I'm going to take it through are continually and how many hours I've put on the machine. Hopefully we get upwards of 25. In my opinion, Toro's really come through for the consumer with large acreage. This is essentially their old pro model because it has got just a massive amount of really tough upgraded features on it and that is really fantastic when it comes to taking care of our property. Look at how massive the front spindle is and this front axle. This is two and a half inch tube steel and it is massively thick. The welds are absolutely gorgeous on it. The spindle is unbelievably thick and these are 13s on the front for the tires. Really big and smooth so they're not going to bite into your turf. Let's move down to the deck and take a look at this thing. This thing is 10 gauge steel and seven gauge in certain areas. And on the front here is this, I don't know if this is proprietary or not, but it has a bull nose design. It's perfectly welded here on the front. And I know I'm gonna run this into some stumps. So I have heard through the grapevine that these things will go full bore right into a stump. It'll stop the mower itself and it won't even damage or dent the front end of your mower deck here. But this is incredibly beefy. Also, we've got these three, three anti-scalping wheels or casters and they're adjustable. So that is gonna help a lot if you're using this for a commercial purpose. I do have to worry about scalping a lot here on the property simply because there is a lot of undulation in, it's in the terrain. It's not smooth at all. So these are gonna help out a lot so I'm not digging in that deck all over the place. Look at the thickness of this rubber chute deflector here. This is unbelievable. It's so very flexible and it's going to be uh, great when going around trees. That plastic on most of them, while tough, kind of starts to damage the bark a little bit. I think this is going to be a little bit less abrasive on the bark of a tree if you're going around it or you're hitting something. It's not going to break whatever you're hitting and it's not going to break this because this uh, I think this can take a massive amount of abuse. This is a great upgrade. So Toro did miss a couple of opportunities. This is a $6,200 machine, and one of those opportunities is here on the deck. That is having uh, pulley covers, or these, these belt and pulley covers, that are um, detachable without any sort of equipment or tools. So it's got the regular, I think this is probably a, 10 millimeter on here to get these off. While you can change the oil and the air filter with no problem and no tools, getting this off to do a normal cleaning after every run, essentially, you need a tool to do it. So putting, I know on their commercial line, they do have these quick releases on these covers. And I think that's something that probably would be cheaper for them to do on here. And it would make the, uh, the prosumer, the homeowner, much happier because these are a pain to get off sometimes. Let's talk about some more features of this deck. One of them is this step plate, this boot scraper, or it doubles as a boot scraper. That's a great feature to have. And I can't say enough about how this deck is attached to the frame. It is unbelievably solid. You've got massive pieces of steel and chain here that attach it in four places. So this deck is like a rock on here. Although it rides up and down really nice on the terrain, it is like a rock when you, and you can step on it. Most other uh, consumer models 
prosumer models and the big box store models definitely you cannot step on the deck because you'll you'll mess it up it'll get off kilter and you're not supposed to do it it says do not step on it but this one you can step right on it that's a really cool feature so I think this my ride suspension system takes a zero turn mower to the next level it's really easy to adjust like you just pop this down move this side to side break it back up and you're locked in place on that initial run, it has already saved my back. So riding over those, um, those tree roots that I always have to ride over and the, the huge undulations in the property has always beat me up on whatever other equipment I've used. This felt great, but we're going to continue to use it and see how my back holds up. I think it's going to be great, but like I said, make sure you keep watching the channel for that next review in a few months. Okay, I love this. This air cleaner is much bigger. I live in East Texas. It gets really dry and dusty here in the summertime. If you have a dry, dusty area that you live in, there's a ton of dirt coming in. You don't want to keep changing out air filters all the time, cleaning them out. This is a commercial grade air filter on a consumer model, essentially. It's easily taken out here and easily cleaned and replaced. That is a huge addition to this year's, uh, this 2020, and I absolutely love it. It's going to make things a lot easier on me and on the mower, especially for my property. And of course, Toro has their toolless oil change system, which is always a benefit, and it's really great to use. So in this model, since we have the MyRide system, the seat does not come up. The battery is not under the seat like most other mowers. It's here contained in the side well. And Toro said they put a bigger battery in it this year for a better starting ability. I don't know what the size of the battery was on the old models, but this one's bigger. On the other wheel well here, we've got our gas tank uh, access, we've got cup holder, and we've got some extra storage here. I'm going to talk about another missed opportunity, actually, that Toro can uh, utilize, and that is more storage space in this wheel well. Because where the gas tank is, the gas, gas tank actually sits underneath the seat. There's just a, 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 a tube, I guess you could say, the part of the gas tank that runs under here and around to where it fills up the tank, which is under the seat. It is a five gallon gas tank. I'm excited about that. That is a way above uh, the size on any other mower that I've ever had. And we're going to test out on our next review video actually how long that'll last me here on my property. I'm assuming it's going to last quite a long time but we're going to test that out for you so stay tuned for that but back here in this part of the wheel well there's nothing there's nothing up under here so i think that toro can utilize this space and make it useful maybe an opening and closing something to close uh, some sort of box in here that you can keep tools whatever it is that you might need while cutting the grass whatever it may be but i think using this space toro put something in here okay this is something I really love it's got a gas gauge on it a lot of other ones that I've seen don't have a gauge or they have some sort of window that you look through to see the level and they always get fogged up and you can't see them or dirty dirty so you can't tell how much gas you have in it but this one has got the gauge right here on the top of the tank perfect location and ah I'm so glad to have this like I mentioned before, we've got Taurus 24.5 708cc V-twin engine. In this one, they've got commercial on it. So I know they've taken a lot of their commercial uh, parts and pieces from their commercial line and put it on these new 2020 Titans, which is amazing. These back tires are monstrous. They are 22 by 11s. And as you can see right here, these are commercial tires. They're really aggressive on the back and really wide and that is going to really work well on this large property. This deck height adjustment is really simple. We're just going to push in our foot lever here, take out this beefy metal pin, and we're going to place it wherever we want to adjust our height to. So in this case, three and a half, let it down. It's that simple. All of our controls are really easy right here within hands reach, we've got our hour meter, we've got our choke, our PTO engagement, our ignition, and our throttle right here, really easy to adjust. Let's talk a little bit about this seat. It's adjustable here in the front with this lever, 
and it is high backed, which is really nice. I'm five foot ten, and it comes to about the middle, maybe lower portion of my shoulder blades. So it's it's really nice in its height. I think it's an 18 inch back seat. Armrests are standard, and got cool branding here. Look at that bull logo. Let's talk a minute about these controls. Now I know they put their commercial dampeners on the transmissions. The transmissions are ZT2800s and they put those dampeners on it so there's no herky-jerky movement when you are changing direction, turning, so on and so forth. And I didn't find any of that. It was incredibly smooth. Now things are a little stiff and that might be because of the dampeners. Much more stiff than on other uh, mowers that I've used. But that stiffness might be due to those dampeners and in my opinion that's great because I didn't get any of that jerking motion you know when you pull back or push forward or go side to side it's just very smooth in its transition between those uh, different movements. Well there you go that's the initial walk around and first half an hour cutting review and performance review of the new 2020 Titan. Here's what I think of it. Besides those few missed opportunities that I talked about throughout the video, I think this is a great machine. I think it's going to work out really well for us here on our larger acreage and all the things they've added to it from the commercial side help out in that with those of us with larger acreage. So I'm really excited so far. Make sure you stick around on our channel to see the next review of this, which will be in a few months. We're going to put it through its paces, like I mentioned. We're going to beat it up a little bit and see how it handles it. And also go check out this video, which is our review of our 2018 Xmark Quest S. I think that one will be very helpful for you also.